This is the same point we want to make to you. You can't turn that river off. You cannot hold yourself against the current of what life has caused you to become. And when you try, you don't feel good. And when you let go, you feel ever so much better. So let's go. Some things you want to talk about. Good, 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 good. So much you want to talk about. You must understand that this gathering happened before you dragged your physical bodies here. That your life has caused you to send forth your rockets. The source within you has met those rockets. And the answers to everything that you want are all queued up for you. So this will be a magnificent unfolding. We want you to know that it doesn't matter where you are. You can put your boat in the stream any place. It doesn't matter. You might be putting your boat in the stream at sickness. You might be putting your boat in the stream at not enough money. You might be putting your boat in the stream at brink of a financial disaster or brink of a marital disruption. You could be putting your boat in the stream with physical sickness that you are experiencing or your awareness of someone else. In other words, there are all kinds of reasons that you feel the way you do. Wherever you're putting your boat in the stream, it does not matter because in every single case, the stream is moving toward the improvement that you seek. The stream is moving toward the solution to the problem. It's moving toward the answer to the question. It's moving to the becoming of who you are. The stream is undeniable. It is always moving and it won't stop moving toward that which you are. So it doesn't matter where you are. In fact, we think it is very helpful to realize that you are where you are relative to any subject of importance to you. And if you can sort of make peace with where you are, there's this thing that happens to you as you put your boat in the stream mentally. If you say, all right, the stream is flowing and it's going to be all right. There is an automatic releasing of resistance and a turning and moving toward improvement. But if you put your boat in the stream with the attitude, I'm not where I should be, you automatically turn upstream. If you put your boat in the stream and say, I should have known better, upstream you go. I should do better, upstream you go. Even if you put your boat in the stream and you say, I'm going to try really hard, upstream you go. Feel the difference between I have a sickness and I'm going to find a way to heal myself upstream, upstream, upstream. And I am where I am. My physical body isn't where I want it to be, but it's going to get better. Or I am where I am and I want things to be better. Feel the difference between I'm going to make this happen upstream and I'm going to allow the resources of the universe to help me work this out downstream. Problem on one of the stick, solution on the other. Which way are you pointed? Which way are you feeling for? And so many of you, for some reason or another, have become so defensive in your competitive feeling of those who surround you that it seems as if you need to defend why you want something by pointing out the perils of not having it. And that is the biggest trap that we see happening, especially in your culture today. In your culture today, you have no legitimate excuse for negative emotion. Well-being is abounding in such significant proportion to not well-being that you really have to reach hard to find things to focus negatively upon in terms of the scope of the world. And yet, it seems to be the orientation because you've sort of been trained by your mother or father who you thought was the resource through which all of your good flowed. That unless you plead a needy case, they won't give up the goods. You're not pleading your needy case to the universe. You're simply extracting from the variety your choice of what you prefer and the source energy immediately becomes the vibrational equivalent of your preference. And if you're not living it in full-blown manifestation, it's only because what's active within you is something other than your preference. You must be talking about something other than what you want or you would be living everything that you want. If you begin to understand that your work is to make it an emotional journey, let your journey to your financial fortune be an emotional journey, not an action journey. So how does that play out? Well, that plays out that you imagine it and you pretend it 
and you feel good about it or you even hope it but you just can't keep saying it's not working it's not working it's not working it's not working without turning around and going in the opposite direction you've got to find a way to keep pointed in the right direction and your emotions are that indicator so in every moment you've got two emotions one feels one way and one feels slightly better in other words one feels good one feels bad if you will look at it in that way Sometimes people will say, Abraham, I can't tell the difference on this. And we say, then keep focusing upon it until it becomes strong enough that you can feel it. Your emotions will always give you guidance. And when you decide to let yourself be guided by your emotion, now you quantify your journey. And now people who are watching you who haven't caught on to what your magic is will notice that things are manifesting faster for you. But what they will notice first is you seem irrationally joyful anyway. <laughs> How's it going? They'll say, great, you say. Oh, did you get that job? No. <laughs> it's coming. Why are you so happy? Because it's coming. No, really, seriously. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Because it's coming. Well, did someone call you? No. <laughs> did you get the second interview? No. Why are you so happy? Because it's coming. Well, how do you know that it's coming? That's the big question. How do you know it's coming when the physical evidence is to the contrary? How do you know? I know law of attraction and I know how I've been feeling and I know that there's not a shred of evidence to the contrary of it I know that when I feel this way things are moving in the direction I've been here before I felt this way that one other time and it panned out well in other words you can let loose of all of the evidence that is to the contrary when you know the law and the law says that that which is likened to itself is drawn and what it means is the vibration that you're emanating is being matched and the evidence is soon to follow you live in this wonderful environment where there is a buffer of time and that buffer of time says it's not going to manifest in the first moment you thought it and friends that's a very very good thing because until you get really good at directing thought, you don't want every thought that you think to manifest. <laughs> but from a non-physical standpoint, in the stability of source, from the perspective where worlds are created, when you leading edge genius, worthy person out here on the leading edge of your experience lives something which causes you to delicately, infinitely, specifically identify something that you would prefer for you source says you ought to know consider it done and becomes a perfect vibrational match to it and in that moment calls you to it and when you hear the call even if it's rage you're moving in the right direction nothing is more important than the way you feel and if we were standing in your physical shoes our mantra would be nothing is more important than that I feel good but then we would modify that by saying nothing is more important than that I feel good and today from where I stand I'm gonna do the best job I can of finding the best feeling thought that I can find from where I am not the best thought I've ever thought not the best feeling thought I've ever found not the best thought anybody has ever thought only the best feeling thought I can find from where I am and as you care about that and you find an improved thought you'll find another and another and another and as you do it on one subject you'll be able to do it on another and another and another and another and the more you do it subject after subject the more you clean up your vibration until you become so expectant of good things to come to you you know people like that don't you they offer a thought with calm and ease they don't struggle about it they don't work nearly hard enough in your estimation and things just go their way how can that be because there's no contradiction in their vibration so then you say okay suppose I play your silly game and I clean up my vibration what do I do about all of those other people that are up close to me in my life who aren't having any of it and we say then the world is treating them the way they vibrate and the world is treating you the way you vibrate and you say yes but this person's in my world and we say give your attention to the most positive aspects of that person and that's the part of that person that will be in your world well where will the rest of that person go <laughs> the 
the rest of that person will rendezvous with ornery toads at work <laughs> people who flip each other off in traffic <laughs> you get to the point where you begin to recognize that everything that comes to you is coming in response to something that you're doing do you know that there are diseases that are vibrational matches to fear and there are diseases that are vibrational matches to frustration and we got to tell you you want this one not this one <laughs> do you know that there are traffic accidents that are vibrational matches to despair and total disempowerment and there are traffic accidents that are matches to frustration and there are traffic accidents that are matching anger and there are the absence of traffic accidents that match appreciation in other words everything that comes to you matches where your average vibration is on those subjects see how it works everything that comes to you is evidence of your vibration so the first thing we want to say to you is if you begin to pay attention to the way you feel you will have pre manifestational awareness and we want you to understand that you get to choose how close up you get to everything and when you start moving yourself in the direction of what you want you feel a desire to embrace the manifestations that are showing themselves to you because each manifestation is a little better than the last that's how you tell if you're going in the right direction each manifestation is a little better than the last good we think you've got that there is great love here for you and as always we remain joyfully in your vortex.